Today I'm going to be working on spraying some full-size interior doors. I got my mobile spray booth from Paintline set up right here. They came up with height extenders so you can extend the height of your mobile spray booth. And they came up with a larger liner so now I can spray full-size doors in an interior booth. They also came up with a PSDRID and that is a system where I can spray a door in one location right here. The door will spin. I can spray both edges and both sides all at one time. And I'm going to show you that setup. I'm going to set it up right here in my booth and you're going to see this simple setup and how you can spray full-size doors standing up now. So we're going to take some time, set it up. So stay tuned for the setup process. Here we go. All right, here we go with the setup. It comes in a canvas bag. The whole system right here comes in two bags. I got a bag right here that has you know, some of the feet that go on the bottom of the doors that stands them up. It got some of the hardware that goes to move the doors. So we're gonna just open this bag up. You're gonna see here's the base unit right here. It's got some overspray guards right here that come with it. It comes in this plastic guard right here, this molded guard where everything is housed. I'm just gonna remove some of the components. I'm gonna set them aside right here, the base unit. The door's gonna set on top of that. This is the side unit which holds the door up. And here's the base right here. So I'm gonna remove the base. There's two parts to the base. I'm gonna be setting up right here. So this is what it's gonna rotate on right here. This is my base. I'm gonna get it kind of located where I wanted, right in the middle of my spray booth. My spray booth is ventilated. I got my ventilation system right here. It's gonna be vented out a window. So that's everything I need out of my canvas bag. I'm just gonna close this up, put it aside and begin the rest of the setup. Now we've got a few things. This is one of the things that, this is what the door is gonna set on. This is gonna slide right inside the base unit right here. This is gonna go on one of the sides right here. And we're gonna tighten this thing down once we get it on with an Allen wrench. This is gonna go slide right inside here. This is what's gonna attach to the device that goes where the hinge goes on a door. It's gonna keep the door stabilized. It's gonna spin on this system right here, just like that. They do have overspray guards that keeps, protects this device from getting overspray on it. This sets right on top of that, just like that. Now you have an overspray protector that's gonna keep overspray from getting inside there. They do have this plastic overspray guard. They also got cardboard overspray guards. This overspray guard goes down. You could actually just put it here. It's gonna go down there. This is gonna to adjust to wherever your hinge height is. That's gonna set right on top of that. I wanna tighten those up with my Allen wrench first. Right here, some of the components that the system comes with. It comes with stands for each door. Each door can stand individually on two stands. Those are gonna be screwed to the bottom of the door. This is the device how you carry the door. So we're gonna set that aside right there. These devices, each one of these is gonna go, one of these is gonna go on each door. So forever, however many doors I got, I'm gonna pull out a number of these to attached to my doors. To protect this from overspray, we're gonna slide, we can slide one of these on, and then we've got um, clips to pin it down, to hold it down. Now I'm gonna begin attaching the feet to my door. So I'm gonna take, there's um, one screw per foot. I'm just gonna put the foot down here on the bottom, use it an impact drill, make it a little easier for you to attach them. On each door, once I get the two feet on the door, I'm also gonna ha attach one of these where the center hinge goes. And there's a red bag that has the screws for that. I'm gonna use two screws to attach this device. This, these doors, they already got the um, handle drilled for the holes, but there's no hinge holes. You're always gonna have one hinge hole center door and they're gonna have um, top and bottom. I'm gonna put this right where the hinges would go. 
Das Just like that, it's attached. Now the door's ready to be stood up. On my hanger, I'll show you what it looks like standing it up on our device. Now I'll show you when the door's wet, you've got this handle, this handle. Um, this is go going right here. It's gonna switch around. This is gonna go in just like this. So we've got a way to hold it on this side. We've got a way to hold it on this side. Just take, stick it in, rotate it forward. Now you can lift the door up while it's wet and not actually touch it. I'm gonna get my height adjustment done right here. I'm gonna slide this on. Tighten that. And every center hinge is gonna be identical. You're gonna screw it into one of the screws in the center hinge and the other screw will go right into the door. So now the door sits on your stand, spins freely. You can spray both edges both sides spins both ways door comes on and off i can adjust my plastic up now if i want to cover my whole center um, my whole supporting post right here So I'm going to talk about a problem and a resolution. So first door being shot, shot one side of it, it's getting heavy spits. As soon as I started, you know, shooting it, I couldn't figure out what was going on. You know, immediately I stopped and then looked at my guard because I was thinking there was something on the guard causing it to spit. I looked down, the tip was about a 16th of an inch from being pushed all the way down inside. So I was getting build up on the edge of the guard that was being thrown on onto the door. So all I did was push the tip in all the way, the spit stop, other side of the door came out flawless. So if you're getting spits, you know, make sure you stop, try to figure out, you know, um, how to solve it. Now, what do I do with all the spits? You know, you can let it dry, sand it out. Denatured alcohol works absolutely amazing for removing spits. I can take denatured alcohol or a true swipe swab. I could rub that spit out when it dries, you know, within like 12 to 24 hours it'll completely rub out without sanding without bondo reshoot the door and you won't even be able to tell true swipe swabs are the king when it comes to removing spits like that so don't panic don't worry it's all fixable all right so i've got a few of my doors sprayed using paintlines psdr id system now i'm going to give you some of my thoughts and um you know about the system they got the the extended booth it works in the extended booth Booth. Now I was spraying, I sprayed two doors, you know, with a um, blue that would have a lot of overspray dust, silica dust coming off of it. And you can see I've got doors out here now standing in front of me. I think one of the things I would do, you know, when I'm spraying, instead of having my stand, you know, um, in the middle, of my spray booth, I think I would, you know, spray off to the side and I would spray, 
you know, right here. So everything would be heading to my ventilation system. So I'd get less um, silica dust outside the boots. So I think I would, you know, spray, you know, right here. Everything's angled towards my ventilation system right there. I would spray my edges right here. So it'd be angled that direction also. Man, I gotta say it, worked absolutely amazing wet doors they were easy simple and easy to use with the two handles now um i i, I kind of like the handles being with me i like my tools being on me the rubber handles um i think i might like them a smooth plastic so they they would slip you know in and out of my pockets a little easier um but you know, they're with them being a nice soft rubber, easier to grip. That makes a lot of sense. Paint line suggested you could spray it with Jasco. I'm just going to take crocodile cloths and before the paint dries and cures, it will wipe off fast and easy with crocodile cloth, you know, on my stand right there. So it, it absolutely worked absolutely amazing. I like how you can stack the doors with the system they have. You can stack your doors pretty dang tight right here to save more space. So I can get these doors pretty tight and that's um, a little bit different than the old style system. Um, doing the accordion style system takes a lot more room to um, stack doors doors you can move them stack them anywhere they're simple easy to transport man it came out of the two bags quick and easy this was actually my you know first time ever setting it up um, it's set up simply and easily so i'm pretty excited about using the um the system more often right here in my spray booth it is um, another uh, absolutely amazing product you know from paint line um, the creator uh, kyle has done a fabulous job dialing in this product and adding it to the paint line line of tools for painters tools for painters by painters out i've got my uh psdr no i'm almost ready with it. i would just say i know what i'm gonna say okay today i'm working on my <laughs> <laughs> i can tell you no i got my paint line 